Hello everybody, my name is Rebecca Grace and today we're going to talk about customizing the 2020 before after image slider. So on my last blog post we looked at how to add the 2020 um, slider plugin to your Squarespace website. Um, so if you haven't done that already or aren't sure how to add that in then you'll want to go to my last blog post first in order to add that in. Um, in this blog post we're going to talk about how to customize it more so that you can add your own coloring and branding to it. So for instance here you'll see I've added my blue color to it so that it just matches my site a little bit more and you may want to do that as well. I've also added a little outline that's offset from the slider just to add a feature that helps it match to your brand even more. So you're welcome to add that if you like. Um, so your first step, like I had said um, at the beginning, is to go to my last blog post and add the 2020 slider to your um, website. Um, I have a link here and I'll link below the video as well um, to go see that. I have changed some of the code to match my brand name, Rebecca Grace Designs, and that's because I'm adding um, some plugins and other sliders uh, with my own styling to it. Uh, so I've changed the name instead of 2020, it says Rebecca Grace, just so that it matches all of my sliders as well. So if you have gotten the files and things not from my blog post, but you already have the 2020 slider on your site, you'll have to modify my code sw slightly to match 2020's branding and not Rebecca Grace Designs branding. Essentially, wherever it says Rebecca Grace, just replace that with 2020, no spaces, no capitals, um, and that should uh, match it fine or work fine for you. So once you have added the 2020 slider, um, like I have here, so it has an overlay and some white um, all around, um, we're going to change this. So go to my blog post and you're just going to copy all of the code that I've posted here. Then on your site, you're going to go to Design, Custom CSS, and then just paste in the code. Okay, you notice nothing happened, and that's because we still have it all branded to be white. So what you're going to do now, step three, you'll notice here, is to customize it. So wherever you see the word white, you're going to change that to match your brand's color. And that can be a hex code, um, or a HSLA code or just the word, whatever it is, you're going to grab however, whatever color brand name you have on your Squarespace site, you're going to grab that and replace white with that color. So I see the word white and we're going to change that to match whatever brand color we've chosen. I'm going to do a bright red just so you can see it. Uh, and then we're going to take that and wherever we see the word white, we're going to replace it with our color. Okay, so I'm just going to double check that I've gotten them all. Okay, and you see that I've now changed all the white bits here to the color that I've chosen, which in this case is red, just you know, for the fact that you can now see it. And that is how you customize the 2020 slider to match your brand.